morning, Carl of Ginger Egg Detailing. Hope you're well. Um, this week's video should have been about me fitting some bits and bobs to my Kawasaki. Uh, fortunately, the tyres didn't turn up. And when they did, they were the wrong size. You wouldn't believe it, couldn't make it up. Um, then I had problems with um, some other bits, what I bought off eBay, um, etc. Just one of them things, can't do a lot about it. Have to live with that. So I'm going to do a quick product demonstration and uh, show you a product I've been using for the past couple of months um, from Blitz Detailing, it's a ceramic spray. Basically, if you've got a good coat of wax on your car or your bike uh, and you want to just sort of tidy it up from time to time, give it a bit more protection, you use this spray. It's not a full-on ceramic coating like I did on the Kawasaki the other week. Uh, this is like a maintenance type spray. It'll last about a month or so. It's been quite good. Uh, give you a really good beading, especially if it rains on your bike or your car, whatever, while you're out. Uh, and also when it comes to cleaning, it makes it a lot easier to clean things. Like I say, not the video I wanted to do today, but um, just one of them things. So here it is. This is the ceramic detailing spray from Blitz Detailing UK. First I'd like to say I'm not sponsored by Blitz Detailing. It's just a product I've started using recently. I've been using this for about two months and uh, a couple of my regular jobs. Really, really working well on it. It's a really good product to use. Um, thing to not to get confused about is it, it is just a detailing spray with slight ceramic and uh, nano technology built into it so it's never going to replace a full-on ceramic coating but at the same time if you've got a really good paint surface you look after your paintwork uh, and you're using this on a regular basis you will in theory get the same sort of results as a ceramic coating if you're doing it more if you're doing it regular enough what you do with this product you can either use it as a detailing spray so you finish your job or you want to help dry wipe it down as usual that's fine or you can actually use it for more protection spray it on wipe it in with an applicator uh, leave it for about 10 minutes and then buff it off that way you get a nice layer of the coating um, one thing i will say it's not the easiest to coating to remove once you've let it dry so don't be surprised it takes a bit of elbow grease but it all comes off and it looks stunning when it's done i'll do a quick demo on this bike here in a minute um, there's other sprays out there. Another one I use is the 303 Graphene, which is a graphene coating or a, a graphene spray. Um, probably as good as any other ceramic coating. Uh, it's lasting different times. On the internet, I've seen certain time scales. I've not always seen it uh, in real life, to be fair, but that's just, just the way the world is. Um, there is other detailing sprays out there with ceramic based products. Um, some of them are useless, I'll be honest. I'm not going to name any, I don't think that's fair. But at the same time, some are very good. So it's a matter of just trial and error. I found this product really good. At the end of the day, it's 9 99 Compare that to your £35 sprays that don't do anything, the ones you buy from Halfords, etc. So worth looking into. I'm just going to do a quick demo now, show you how to do it, and uh, here we go. So what you're doing is applying a small bit of product to a clean sponge, applicator sponge, and then you just be applying it to the panel. Make sure you get all surfaces. If he's worried, you could mask off the uh, black panelling. Use my finger just to run along it, so I'm not too fussed about that. So you're just going to leave that for sort of 10 minutes, and then just buff it off. Doesn't look particularly nice at this stage, but uh, you'll see. So it's result. been on for about 10 minutes. As you can see, it's still wet in places. Uh, doesn't look particularly uniformed. But I know I've got good coverage all over it. And left coating all over it. So what we're going to do now, take a nice soft buffing cloth, about 600 GSM this one, and then just buff it in. There we go. Just change up one final buff. Move around again, one direction. Don't do swirls, you run more risk of scratching doing swirls. There we 
we go. Certainly a deeper shine. Um, really impressed with that. So I didn't put a lot of effort into this bike. It's, it's one I've got to uh, finish off. So but I just wanted to sort of show you how good the product was, how easy it was to use. Another good use for this product is on wheels. Uh, if you're changing tyres or something like that, give your wheels a good clean down, you'll find that your wheels will clean a lot easier, certainly on motorbikes. Uh, avoid the tyres, obviously. So there you yeah. go, fairly simple, nothing to it, anyone can do it. Like I say, there's other products out there, a lot more expensive, but I don't think they do a better job, to be fair. Um, other than probably Graphene 303, which is obviously a graphene uh, quick type detailer, um, there's not really anything out there as far as spray detailers, ceramic detailers what can beat this certainly not for the money because um, all you are doing is topping up your protection was already there giving you that deep shine looking nice make it easier to wash your bike or car for instance um, what I will say the only really thing to look out for is put it on let it dry for about 10 minutes when you come to that buffing off don't expect it to be like any other polish you'll probably have a heart attack to start with when you first put that cloth into the panel and realise it's uh, like rock um, but just buff away and it will just come off no problem like I say a couple of three passes on that panel that was done with a cloth so but just so you're aware because some people sort of start panicking if something don't come off very easily I say sorry about the uh, video what should have been today but it's just one of them things uh, nothing went my way this week unfortunately with work uh, I was flat out doing cars and whatever you so um, I sort of wait till the last minute and then my bits never turned up so it's one of them things Right, so hopefully next week I'll be showing you how to uh, fit a chain to a motorcycle. Uh, we'll show you how to rivet a chain up, um, fit a sprocket and a few other bits and bobs. So uh, please subscribe, catch you all later. Have a nice one.